Hello, I'm Ruthie Neely, the new Executive Director of Swickley Public Library, and I'm honored to give you a peek into everything we've been up to at the library. I'm nearing the first anniversary of stepping into this role, which happened to coincide with the library's 150th anniversary celebration. The serendipitous bit of timing inspired me to reflect on my own family history here in Swickley, which I have to mention, I wasn't fully aware of until using the free digital archives of the Swickley Herald on the library's website. I learned that my four times great grandfather, William Neely, opened the first blacksmith shop and lived here, not far from the library at the corner of Chestnut and Thorn. Generations of Neelys have walked the blocks around where the library sits today and have witnessed the value a library brings to the community. Learning all of my family history shortly before accepting this position made stepping into this role feel somewhat like a homecoming. Since then, I've been focused on my belief that every patron should feel that same sense of belonging and homecoming when they come to the library. Visitors to our library last year felt the significance of our history as the oldest library in Allegheny County, with special events like our History Night featuring a documentary film and panel discussion. While there was a lot to celebrate, we also marked the anniversary by investing in the preservation of our 100-year-old building, replacing its original Spanish tile roof and 10 historic windows, and installing a new air conditioning system to cool the entire building. I'm pleased to report that the $1.5 million project was completed on time and on budget, partially funded by a grant from the Keystone Recreation, Parks, and Conservation Fund of the Office of Commonwealth Libraries and funding from the Raymond C. and Martha S. Suckling Fund of the Pittsburgh Foundation. We intend to build upon the momentum of success we created with this project to continue making improvements to our physical space and imagining the best way to create meaningful engagement with the nearly 450 patrons who walk through our doors each day. The center of our mission is lifelong learning, and libraries remain a strong source of in-person assistance to learn the answers to any question, as well as a gateway to digital connectivity for those who need it. Last year alone, we provided patrons with more than 15,000 public computer sessions and nearly 32,000 Wi-Fi sessions. While it's easy to assume everyone owns their own personal device, we serve a great many people here in our community who do not, and our public library is a lifeline to informational access. The global pandemic reminded us that libraries are uniquely poised to bridge the digital divide, and we serve as a valuable third place between work and home where community connections happen and social capital is strengthened, as evidenced by our increasing demand for meeting spaces at the library. This year, the library will begin a strategic planning process that creates a unified community vision for what our library is and can be, and how together we can make that vision a reality. My staff and I look forward to engaging in the learning process with you, the Quaker Valley community, to ensure that we are best serving your needs. Books are considered to be the foundation of libraries, but we also offer movies, music, audiobooks, digital downloads, and even a library of things like American Girl dolls and vinyl record players. If you can't find what you're looking for within the four walls of our library, you can access the collections of the other libraries in Allegheny County with your Swickley Library card. Last year, we brought in more than 67,000 items from other libraries through the Carnegie Library van that delivers to our library every Monday through Friday. This fall, we aim to complete a project to ensure that every single student in the Quaker Valley School District has access to a library card, helping families in our community take advantage of the nearly 9 million in savings we create by providing the resources for free. That's a return on investment of nearly 500%. Gone are the days of the stuffy shushing librarian. We know how to play. We offered more than 1,300 programs last year that welcomed 34,000 patrons to explore shared experiences and engage the right side of their brain. This summer, you'll see us playing on the library lawn each Thursday from 4 to 7 when we welcome a, an array of food trucks with coordinated programming. And we also bring stories to life and turn them into play with story times 
and story walks in the parks and indoor story times in the cool new air conditioning when the summer heat rises. We are grateful to the Quaker Valley School District, the Allegheny Regional Asset District, and our friends of the library, and individuals, corporations, and foundations who provide the funding necessary so that our patrons can visit, learn, read, and play within our award-winning library. While library funding comes from a complex combination of sources, including approximately 30% from Allegheny County and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the other 70% of our funding comes from local sources right here in the Quaker Valley. Our donors in 2023 honored the library's milestone anniversary by exceeding our goal of raising $150,000 to honor our 150th year. We are grateful to the generational investment you make to sustain our community library. If you'd like to support the library by attending a community event, our friends of the library will hold their 23rd annual Savoring Swickley on Sunday, November 3rd. Mark your calendars. Last year, this signature event welcomed 17 restaurants into the library who generously provided tasting portions for our 300 guests. Earlier this year, the Friends launched a new Links in the Library mini golf fundraiser event that will return again next year. And of course, their gently used book sales provide much needed revenue to the library three times a year. The next one will be taking place during the Harvest Festival in September. The Friends work very hard to support the library and we're grateful for their dedication as we're also grateful to the 700 individual donors who supported the library with gifts each year. The complete list of donor names is available to view in this report, posted in its entirety on our website, or stop by the library to pick up a print copy. We would love to see you. Thank you to the community for welcoming me. It's an honor to lead the incredible staff of Swickley Public Library. We are proud to serve as the lifelong learning component of the Quaker Valley School District, and I look forward to a continued strong collaboration with your incredible staff of educators. Visit us this summer to enjoy learning, reading, and playing together. Thank you.